How long does this dungeon take? 45 minutes? That's not that bad. I, I guess it's kind of the middle of the road time. Hmm. Of course, I don't know why I always... I always do that. I always compare myself to, like, previous times. Try to set the best time for myself. Like, you don't need to do that. Just enjoy the game, man. That's what it's there for. You know, call me crazy, but I like to enjoy my games. Alright, oh, more you guys. Well, we know how to deal with you by now. And I'm not demonstrating it very well. Yeah, I find that, like, these guys like to charge you a lot, like I said, really irregularly. And, uh... I don't know. It seems like the shield is most effective against them. So, utilize that. Like in Zelda games, it's easy to forget that you even have a shield, because you're always just flaunting your sword, because it's so easy to uh, kill things with most of the time. But when you come across an enemy like that, where it's a little bit strategic what you have to do, it's a good thing to remember that you have a shield. They make you utilize their shield actually a lot in Skyward Sword. I guess they kind of realized uh, the left-behind factor of the shield. Whoa, look at this room. <laughs> You know, I talked about how lighting was different in other rooms, but I never, I didn't mean like this. I didn't mean all purple, you know, commie-ish. This is actually really neat. I never, it's like a shrine. Huh. Well, anyways. Uh, now that I'm done basking in the glow of that. You can, like, break, in so, break up with some nuts around here. Some of them will have monsters in them, so just be wary of that. And, uh, you can also, if you want, open up this pot over here. I don't know really what the point of it is. It's like right next to the boss door, so I guess if you want to come back for to to get a heart container that you miss, then um you could do that. But for now, there's also probably fairies and stuff around here. Uh I'm just gonna check really quick. Well that's nice, I'm full of hearts now. Sweet. And open up the coolest lock ever. What is that funky sound I hear? Hmm. Whoa! Man. This room is so beautiful. Why did I never notice this before? Oh, hey, look at him! Dude, he's hopping up and down. He's going crazy. This must be you, Makar. Yay! Wait, what are you doing, piranha plant? Get... What? No! I can't let you and your stupid mullet break in and just... Oh. Well... Man, he's so menacing. I love it. But, um, this guy. He is not so bad. He's actually probably the easiest boss in this game. I don't know. Dude, he, he actually hit me. It's kind of hard to tell when he's going to hit you or not. But, uh, for those, um, people, the Nintendo Gallery followers, which I don't know if I, there are any of you out there even, you actually want to take a picture of this guy right now. You will get another chance to take a picture of him later on in the game. Just, uh, I know that's really, really kind of spoilerific, but you will. So, um, it's not totally inconsequential that you'll take a picture of him now. Anyways, so, man, he totally ruined the beauty of this room, too. It was all nice and baby blue light in here before, and now it's just ugly as ass. But of course, the general concept of uh, this boss applies. Whenever you use the boomerang, it's always to cut something, isn't it? So, you want to cut him down. Get down off your high horse, dude. If you do take too long, though, these uh, vines will regenerate, so be wary there. And, oh my god, don't get turned around. It's easy to get turned around. And, oh, yeah, here he goes. Oh, so painful, so painful. And it shoots out like a nice hazy mist of pinkness, too. Oh, this is the door. Nice. I was wondering what that was for a second. I was like, what is that? I've never seen that. Huh. Did he just block me with his tentacle? I've never seen him do that. I didn't know you could actually hit, like, his... Like, his... These tentacles that attack you, that whip down at you with the boomerang. It's so strange. Yeah, basically he just varies between these two variants of attacks, though. Like, the one where he digs all his tentacles down, and the one where he just lashes against you with one of them. It really doesn't get much more complex than that. And then he has that one attack where he can inhale you like he did before. Generally, I like to just get hit by that one, just to get in, get in as much damage as I can. Alright. I, <laughs> I think, like, one vine respawned there, and that's why it took longer than it should have. Yeah, so you can get in a good few amount of hits, and if you're willing to take this damage right here, then it's probably good that you do. 
And there's always the grass around here, and pretty much every blade of grass will give you a heart, like, and there's so much of it that it's, like, really almost impossible to die in here. But it still is, so keep monitoring your health. As is the case with every boss, I suppose. I suppose, I suppose, it's good. Ow. Dude, he blocked me again. Normally I can kill this guy really fast. If you know what you're doing, you can actually probably kill him in two cycles. Like, I probably could have killed him by now. But, um, apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Dude, they're regenerating. No, get get that shit down. Get your face out of my place, Cali Demos! Mmm! <laughs> oh, and he's still flopping around, gushing and fawning and... Ooh. Yay, my car. Still alive. God. I love that. I love this boss, this boss death animation. That might be one of my favorites in the series, really. Because you hear his, like, moan and cry like, Whoa! as he dies. And it's just so brutal, and the thing wilts away. But it doesn't totally wilt away, so it's still kind of beautiful. You have my thanks. When all went dark around me, I thought my time on Earth was over. But why are you here, swordsman? Here to save your ass, man. The great Deku Tree's that damn straight. He's tired. He's tired. He's gonna spank you when you get back, you know. That's just the way of the tree. I'm in trouble. I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. So I'm just gonna stand here. And stand here. And stand here. Okay, so let's leave now. Let's leave. No, I'm not that stupid. I bet you thought I forgot again, didn't you? I did walk past it, but I still that's not as much that's not as bad. I got my first heart container! Awesome! <laughs> what the ball? My first heart container. Who in their right mind has ever said that in this dungeon, in the forest haven, that they got their first heart container? Like, oh my god. I mean first heart first heart container not made it out of like heart pieces, obviously. <laughs> and he warps away too. He doesn't get a cool sound effect like I do, though. Ha ha. I need to stop doing that ha ha thing. That's so indignant. And I feel bad whenever I do it. I feel like I'm going to make the person, like, frown whenever I say it. Oh, Makar, you have returned safely. I forgot my voice for this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Deku Tree. I know you warned us many times, but still, I did not listen. I was a fool. Do not worry, Makar. You are safe now, but you'll be more careful from now on. You have done well, Argon. I must thank you for your brave deeds and your no chin. Here is that which I have promised. Please accept it. Take it respectfully. He wiggles. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Oh my god, right in my face. That could not have stopped more abruptly as it hit my face. and It turned on like a total weird axis. Actually, it turned on a really perfect axis to sh show that thing rotating t totally horizontally with the symbol. I totally just talked over that like one of the most important things in the game, getting Ferora's Pearl. Well, we got it, so. Doesn't give us any special abilities or anything. Doesn't power us up. We must begin our ceremony soon before the day ends. <laughs> Dude, I... You kidding me? That was like three or four days ago. I was doing shit on Windfall when you are supposed to be playing your cello. As my thanks to you, I shall play even harder than I normally do. I hope you enjoy it. This is so this is so cute. I'm just gonna take a drink of coke and enjoy it. Man! And then one of the n nicest transitions ever. Oh, God. <laughs> like, seriously, they could not have picked a better tune to, like, accompany or, like, to follow that sequence of events. And then it, like, all goes into, like, a more soft tone here. It's so... I love the music in this game. I never realized how brilliant it really was. <laughs> it's like I just had an epiphany now or something. With these seeds, we will continue to spread new forests across the great sea. Let us go, Korox, to the sea. See you all next year. Take care. Farewell, great swordsmen! May the winds of chance bring us together again someday. And may the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. 
and they all fly away off their separate paths. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before, like, they won't be here anymore, so... If you didn't get your pictures of them before, like, I stupidly didn't, actually. <laughs> um, you're kind of screwed, and you have to go find them on other islands to get their pictures. Thank you, Argon, for all that you've done for me. How was my performance? Did you... Yeah, dude, that was awesome. I loved it. It's so cool, he has, like, berries on the end of his stick, too. Tree gate. Did, oh, he gave it to you? Cool. Did he did he poop that out of his shoulder too? He said it is an instrument that people played long ago. It has taken many long hours for me to practice. Well, practice makes perfect. Eight of my fellow Koroks have set out on journeys to create new forests in the world. But both Hollow, who studies the making of potions, and I are on this island. Please come to please come to see us here again. We'll be waiting for you. Yep. So those are the two Koroks that you still can get pictures of here. And obviously, you can still get pictures of this guy. Might as well talk to him. I actually didn't mean to talk to him. I was trying to roll away, but... Every year after the Koroks perform the ceremony, they fly off to distant islands on the sea and plant my seeds in the hopes that new forests will grow. Why is his brow so furrowed? Hold the great... Forests hold great power. They can change one tiny island into a much larger land. Soon a day will... Dude, I didn't come here for a frickin' geography lesson. Uh... Oh, that's nice. Such as... Oh, dude... You're making me feel bad for dissing your speech now. But the one you're chasing is trying to prevent that dream from ever coming to pass. Argon, already your fate is tied to the fate of this world. You must proceed with great care. You don't need to warn me about Ganon, dude. I know all about him. Have I shown this off yet? I don't think I have, because I remember there was the end of one video and I wanted to show this off. Hollow's for Forest Potion Shop. Yeah, okay, this is... This is actually kind of important, because this is really easy blue potions you can get here. This is hollow, obviously. Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing my car back to us. And now we have completely... Now that we've completed our ceremony, I can go back to researching my potions. By the way, do you have any Boko Baba seeds? If you have any, please set them on YZ or X. Link doesn't know what YZ and X are, dude. Let's see how many I have, actually. Yeah, 13. See, I could get three blue potions if I really needed to. Because as you see here... Oh, that's a Boko Baba seed! That's a, that's what I need to make this kind of super replenishing potion that you would help you, swordsman. Alright, I'm going to use a, use four of them. Please wait just a moment. He doesn't even ask me, he just takes them. God, I don't know. I'm just still basking in the brilliance of that scene with the ceremony. I don't know what it is about that just now, but... That was really cool. On Halaman Halajoe! Nice. Man, totally guised himself in his own dust. Hmm, this room has a skylight too, but it's not very well lit, all things considered. Ha ha, it's ready, here you go. Don't ha ha me, ha 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 you, but you got a blue potion. So this is basically the easiest way to get blue potions in the game. And as you know, blue potions are very handy from time to time. Because you know there's always those annoying instances when you run out of magic. This is cool too, he's got like a little diagram of a... Uh, Boko Bob over here. It's all smiling, as they always do. So that's neat. Well, anyways, um, now that that great series of events is over, I love the Forest Haven, I tell you. This might be one of my favorite areas in the game, all things considered. Like, it's just so cool. The music, the atmosphere, the story here, the way you just save, like, everything. Kind of, kind of almost like Snow, Snow Peak, or... Snowhead, that's it, in Majora's Mask. I always get those two confused, Snow Peak and Twilight Princess. And, uh, that one. But now that we're all done here, I think it's time to say it to you. We will be, at, be back here, though, for blue potions and, uh, other stuff, obviously. One side quest in particular. But for now, um, I think it's gonna have to be it for this recording. We're almost up to an hour here. And, uh, one thing I guess I can do just to end things off here... Actually, I might have mail really quick. I'm gonna go check that. Mail! God, I want to sing the Blue Clues mail song, but I don't remember what it was. You'll hear me wail mail! I think that's how it ends, but there's like more to it than that. Here is your letter. You and your buck tooth post box. Dear Argon, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. Oh, this must be a Rito. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. See that heartfelt apology. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside of them. 
I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in, hope th in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this as a small token. I look forward to the day we meet again. May your fortune fill your wings. From Kamali's father. That's sweet. We got a picture of that guy before, too. Oh, you got a heart piece! That's a total of two! It would have been nice if you sent me the heart container that's still on the island w along with that, but... I'm just gonna have to go back for that myself. Dude, I'm trying to end off the video. I don't want to talk to you. So this place, too, has already been attacked by Gen. Could he already be regaining his, his power? Argon, you must get the remaining pearl. It is a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately! Well, we probably will, actually. There's a few things we still we can do now. But there it is. Uh, that's our next destination. And now you sort of have free reign. Like, you can kind of sail anywhere in the world that you want. There might be still some blocked-off passages. But they kind of open it up more, since there's really no concrete way to actually get to this island. Like, you can sail through a bunch of these different squares to get there. Whereas before, you could just, like, sail down, and that was the only way you could go. And uh, before I end things off... Treasure chart one, cool. The origin one. What is that? That might be Stone Watcher Island. Um, I love trying to guess which ones these islands are. And oh, that's uh, def that's definitely. Shit, I forget the name of it. It's in a, it's in the square directly southwest of here though, so that's cool. Damn, I wonder. Angular Isles. That's it. Duh. One of the most memorable names. So, I think I'm f now, jeez, the, the most prolonged outro ever. Sorry about this. So now with Beetle in the background and Link staring up at God knows what. Oh, he's staring back at me now. Oh, I don't want him staring at you. That's kind of a little bit creepy. I'll have him staring off this way. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my run of the Forbidden Woods. Even though, I don't know why I'm wording it. Shut up, you're so stupid. Oh my God. So official and everything. You gotta be so... Can I not do an outro anymore? What is this? Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.